How many, um, how many bids do you have to get? Um, you're my number one so far. Uh, they, they're probably going to want me to get at least one or two more. Okay. Uh, I will say you're the first one I, I got hold of. You're the first one that got back to me. So oh, good. you're the first one I want to deal with. I like it. So I called three others and they they responded back to me like the next day. Yeah. That didn't help me. No. I was one answers now. Right. <laughs> What's the point of having a phone if you don't answer it? That is a great question. And the answer, there is no point to having a phone or an email or a website if you don't respond quickly. And if you don't follow up, because just like that guy said, I was the first to get back to him and I'm the one who gets to deposit the $31,000 check for that job. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to land jobs like this and how you can do the exact same thing. So the way I deal with this kind of job is really no different than any other job, whether it's a small house wash or driveway cleaning or a large commercial property, because it all comes down to the customer experience and how your business interacts with potential and existing customers. And I'm going to walk you through three steps to land more jobs in your pressure washing business. And look, it's no secret from the intro to the video that you have to follow up fast. I call it speed to lead because we're in a competitive environment. We are all trying to get as many leads into our sales funnel as possible so we can convert them into customers and get their money. And this is a lot easier said than done. I understand that. But the bottom line is you have to be hyper responsive. The company that gets back the fastest typically gets the job. So you want to have systems in place, things in place that allow you to do that. Now, the first thing that you need to have in place is good marketing. And I know that goes without saying, but if potential customers, they can't find you, they can't call you and you can't work for them. So having a diverse marketing strategy in place is going to help your business. You're going to need to implement multiple means of marketing. Obviously, when you're first starting out, boots on the ground is critical. You need to be in front of as many people as you possibly can be, whether that's knocking on doors, passing out flyers, going in and introducing yourself to every local business owner you can find. You have to put in the work, the legwork, and this does pay off. Um, you're also going to need to think about signs, bandit signs, EDDM, which is every door direct mail, postcards, flyers, anything you can do to get your name out there. This doesn't need to break the bank, but definitely is needed when casting that marketing net. I use a company down in Florida called Postcard Mania for my EDDM. They handle everything from the design, the printing, and the mailing. And right now, with your first order, you get a 1,000 free postcards. It's a hell of a deal. I put a link down below, so check that out. The other thing is I would consider Facebook ads and Google ads if you can swing it, and only if it makes sense in your market. Now, there are a lot of factors that are going to determine if it's even worth it to spend that money on those ads, but that is something for an entirely different video. The next thing is you're going to want to have a Google business page. You're also going to want to have a website. Footbridge Media is the go-to source for the pressure washing industry. It just makes it a lot easier when you can rely on someone who has a proven track record in your industry, knows what moves the needle. But regardless of who builds your website, you'll need to populate both the website and your Google profile with good information that the customers want to see, that they need to see, and they're going to benefit from. This is very important. Okay, so you've got the leads coming in. Now you need to be able to get back to the leads fast. If you're not busy, I guess you could just wait by the phone. Um, but if you're not busy, you better not be sitting around waiting for the phone, you better be out busting your ass trying to generate business. Nobody's going to find you on their own unless you do the work to allow them to find you. But even that takes time. And I hear and I see people all the time uh, and they say they want to do something but they never do anything to make it happen. And then they quit and then they complain and they whine and they cry and it's everybody else's fault but their own. And that is just not the case. If you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. So if a customer calls you and you don't answer it, where's that phone call going to go? Well, it's either going to go to the next person on Google, it's going to go to your competitor, or it's going to go to a voicemail. But that is a turnoff for a lot of people too. So you can do what I do and hire an answering service, which is not incredibly expensive if your incoming calls are at a minimum, which they probably are if you're just starting out. But this human touch can make the world of difference in closing more leads. These companies are trained to act as your employee, giving a transparent feel to the potential customer, thinking they're talking to somebody from your company. They then send you the message quickly. You call the customer back and hopefully you can close the deal. And that's what happened with us on this particular job. I can't speak for the other companies that he called, but they didn't call him back until a day later. And while that doesn't seem like a lot of time, it's the difference between zero and $31,000. So if you're one of those guys that has a set day to go and look at jobs and give quotes, you're losing out on a shit ton of money. Customers call you because they want an answer. They want it fast. They want it now. They want a price and the company to get there first usually wins. I can get a call. I can open up Quote IQ. I can enter the address, measure the property, send an estimate via email or text within minutes. It's fast, it's professional, and it secures a tremendous amount of business for my company. Another way that you can close way more jobs, way faster than anyone in your market is when you use something like InstaQuote, which I'm going to show you right now. This is a feature only available in Quote IQ, and I'm going to show you what it looks like from the customer's perspective. So check this out. 
Obviously, we're on the website. We're going to click fast and easy quote, which is going to go ahead and pop up Instaquote. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to do a house wash and we will do some concrete. House is going to be a 3000 square foot house. We're going to click continue, which is going to bring us down to the house wash prompts. This is what you would put in in order to give the customer these options, which the first option is going to be, it's going to be a brick house, stained front door. We have a no do you have a screen porch? No. Do you have a detached garage? No. The reason that we're asking these questions is on your dashboard within Quote IQ, you're able to set up whether or not you're going to upcharge for all these different things. So any variable that you can think of, you can add, and then you can add a particular percentage or a dollar amount based on whatever it is. So on a stained door, you might add an extra $20 because you're going to have to wrap it. You're going to have to tape it. It's going to take a little bit of time. So we're going to click continue. It's going to take us down to the concrete. And uh, again, these are all parameters that we've set up and it's got some rust stains. And uh, what is the surface? It is concrete. Our first is going to be named driveway and it's a, a 10 foot by 40 foot driveway. And we also have a patio in the back. So I want to put patio and it's small. It's only a 12 by 12 and we're going to click continue. And then this is where your customer is going to put their information in. And then you're just going to click get a quote. And there it is. The quote is generated. It was also emailed to your customer and they will see this and they'll select which services that they want. It'll calculate the total down there and then they can either accept or decline. If they accept it, they sign the agreement. And right here it says, by accepting, I agree to the terms and conditions, Bob, Bob. And yes, he is ready to accept this. Then you get prompted. Instaquote has also got customer self-scheduling so they can actually pick their own time and date. So we're going to say schedule now which pops up the calendar and we'll go over to September 14th. It's going to prompt them to confirm again, which they do. And there you go. We have to have eyeballs on our business. We need to get back to those customers as quickly as we can. And there are times when they don't respond back immediately. And unfortunately, a lot of us lose a lot of jobs because we just don't follow up after we send that initial estimate. And following up on every estimate is critical. Uh, and I know that you're busy and you've got a lot going on. And this can sometimes slip through the cracks. And that is why I personally use email and text automation to make this happen. I set it up once based on multiple triggers. Then the email sequences and text sequences, they begin following up, asking the customer if they want to get on the schedule, reminding them that they got an estimate and they haven't you know, gotten back to you, letting customers know about the scheduled appointments, that our technicians are on the way, as well as a bunch of marketing emails that we send once the invoice is sent. Again, this is an absolute no-brainer. And if you don't have something like this in place, I highly recommend that you do. So with a couple bucks, a little initiative, you will not lose nearly as many jobs to your competition, but you have to be dedicated. You have to implement. You have to do the things that you need to do in order to get the eyeballs on your business get back to the customer with lightning speed and just make the overall customer experience unbelievably easy. Whether that's a quote via text or email almost instantly or allowing the customer to generate their own quotes online for any of the services that you offer as well as allowing them to schedule for the time that works best for them. And these are the ways that I close huge commercial jobs as well as residential jobs every single day, 24 seven, because when you have the systems in place, you've got an automated sales team working for you all the time, whether that's an answering service or it's software on your website. 50% off your first three months of Quote IQ at myquoteiq.com. Thanks for watching.